Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Gano Baby right here in Lome, Togo. You know, you guys know that I have a favorite episode in every country that I go to. Why I left America to Africa. You know, why you left America for Togo. My name is Maya. I don't even have to introduce myself, right? Okay. Do I have to introduce myself? But you do have to introduce yourself because I've been going to your school for almost uh, two years now. <laughs> Uh, how, how did you discover my channel? Let me ask that one. How did you discover my channel? Well, one time I was in uh, I was in America. I went to do a visit, mm -hmm. and uh, I have a friend of mine is, uh, from Ghana. Okay. His name is uh, Kwame, and uh, Kwame was watching the your channel YouTube. Okay. And Kwame said, I said, "Oh, this is very interesting. Who's this? He's always oh, the Ghanaian guy is based in China." China. <laughs> so when I was looking at it, I said, "Oh, that's an interest." That's wow. why. That's why I discovered your channel. Wow! And the day I met you, you like you've been following you from here. From oh my God, I was so touched, man. I was like, "What? You are in America? Mm -hmm. Now you are in Lome. You are born in Lome? No. Nope. Where were you born? I was born in Ouagadougou. Ouagadougou. Mm -hmm. Wow! And when did you go to America? Well, I went to America well, more than two decades ago. Two decades. Yeah. What took you to America? Opportunity. Opportunity. Yeah. Is America a land of opportunity? Well, there's opportunity everywhere. Opportunity everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now you're no longer in America. Mm -hmm. Are you based in Lomé right now? Yes, I'm based in Lomé right now. And for how long have you been here? I've been here since 2012. Since 2012, and you've never returned to America? Oh, I've been going every year, visit. Visit? Mm -hmm. You don't want to stay there anymore? Nope. Why? Well, I'm just tired of it. Uh, home is home. You just move back to Africa. Home is home. Mm -hmm. We all know home is home. Someone mm -hmm. from America will say America is home, mm -hmm. right? What made you get tired of America? That's what I want to know. Well, you know, you know, in America, I got a good job in America, okay. and um, I left everything because too many stress in America and too many violence, so I can't take it anymore. Can't take it anymore. Mm, yeah. You return back to Lome. Yeah. Do you think you get the same opportunities that you're getting when you're in America? Yeah. You get the same opportunity. How? Well, it's not easy when you first move to Africa. You know, and uh, you have to know that, you know, you have to go to the right people, meet the right person. You know. When I first when I first moved to Lome, when I came to Africa. I went to like uh, six different countries, you know, to visit. When I want to see one, I want to settle down in Africa. So I went to Ghana, I went to Benin, I went to Nigeria, Kina Faso, in Togo, then Avicost. And um, I discovered in Togo is a good place for me. You discovered that Togo is a good place for you. Mm -hmm. What are you going to tell somebody, based on your experience, right, mm -hmm. what are you going to tell somebody who is looking forward to move to Africa? Mm -hmm. Based on your experience, what are you going to tell anybody who is looking forward to settle down in Africa just like you? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you want to tell them? Well, you know, we're different. You don't have to scare to come to Africa. You know, Africa is, uh, you know, is, is our motherland, you know. And um, before you come to Africa, you have to prepare yourself, okay. you know, to come and settle down in Africa. It's not easy here, too. What kind of preparation? Well, you have to make sure that, you know, you have a job back home in, in America. It's not like we're going to get a job easy. You're not going to get a job. Okay. You know, there's uh, a lot of stuff you can create here in Africa. Even though if you get a little money, you can create a lot of stuff. A lot of people don't know. Even though you have ten thousand dollars, you can do business in Africa here. And will you get your capital back? You get your capital back. You can do business here. It's a lot of a lot of stuff. To my experience, you know, yeah. when I first moved to Africa twelve years ago, okay. you know, before then I've been coming back and forth okay. and have a plan that is uh, I want to settle down in Africa. So I came here. I stayed like six months. And I went back to Africa, I went back to America, you know, to prepare myself. And um, I moved back here in 2012. So when I came here in 2012, it's not easy for me. Why are you saying it's not easy? No, it's not easy. When I say it's not easy, it's because um, 
I do business, import and export. Okay. So I do business, import and export. I bring stuff from America, and sometimes went to Europe, buy stuff to come and sell here. And uh, when I first brought my stuff here, first time container, you know, uh, I don't know to me. I don't know a lot of people, so I was a little bit, a little bit scared. But later on, you know, I get in ground into know people, so they help me out. You know, this is the way you can do. You know, this way you can get your way in Africa yeah. here. So right. you have to, if you don't know stuff, you have to ask. ask. Mm -hmm. So, based on your experience, mm -hmm. based on what you've been through, mm -hmm. what are you going to tell a brother or sister out there who is looking for work to come, move to Africa, mm -hmm. settle down, start his or her own business? Mm -hmm. What is the message? Like, in maybe in less than 10 seconds, what is the message for? Okay, person? the message you have, you know, just make sure if you want to come here, make sure you have, uh, you have good education. You know, and they have a little bit of capital. You can come here. You don't have to scare. You can come invest. You know, Africa is good. It's a good place to invest business right now. Even though it's not, we have a lot of people that are not black, a lot of Chinese and Indians. They are everywhere in Africa. They are doing business here. Yeah. You know, if you go to the market, you see a lot of Chinese. You know, Indian. You know, do you, have you, do you, have you ever go to Asigami? Yeah. You see a lot of Indians, they sell, they sell style. Yeah, you know, them. you see them. So, as you as a black person, so you don't have to scare to come to Africa. Just come here, come invest. Mm -hmm. Wow. What kind of business do you do in here? I do electronic business. Electronic business? Mm -hmm. Does it need a lot of capital? Yeah, yeah. need a little bit. I just want to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you said you've been to six African countries. Yeah. Do you think Africa should remove borders? Of course. You know, the way the, you lost Malema already said, you know Malema, yeah, from, Malema South Africa, from South Africa, Pan Africa. So, we should move the border, you know, in Africa here. It's not easy if you want to cross border from Togo to Ghana, from Ghana to Africa, from Africa to Burkina Faso, Burkina Faso to Benin. You know, it's not easy, you know. To be honest, a lot of police, custom, immigration. They will take money from you before you can cross border. Wow. They take money from you too? Yeah. Of course, I, to be honest, I bribe. <laughs> 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 but to be honest, I, I, I bribe. Uh, so to get away. Okay. And there's one thing. West Africa is still better. You know, in West Africa, if you have only ID card, okay. you don't need a visa to go anywhere. Okay. 15 equals West Africa. You know, a step only in the border of the police. You can live anywhere you want in West Africa. You know, I don't know about East Africa, but West Africa. But at the same time, I don't blame uh, most of our police and uh, custom because they don't pay them enough. Wow. You know? So the only, only way to survive is to take the bribe. You take the bribe. Are you going to pay somebody $120 a month, $200 a month? You know, you have a kid. You know, you marry, you have to take it. You have to pay for school fees, transportation. You know, if, if you're going to take a bribe too. So that's the problem. Then I hope one day this thing's going to, going to stop. If you have the opportunity to change something in Africa, mm -hmm. or even in Togo, what will you change? Uh, border first. <laughs> All the black people can be free. From one everywhere, everywhere. There's a uh, last year. I'll tell you a story. I was in uh, Burkina Faso border to Togo. You know, I was, you know, I, you know, in, in the bus, bus station, into the to Burkina Faso border. And uh, there's a uh, lady. She's from Cameroon. You know, and uh, they asked her to pay the visa to enter Cameroon. And I said, oh, why? She's African. She's African. Why is she gonna pay to enter Burkina Faso? And everybody stood for her in the bus. They said, no, she's our sister. And the police said, no, let's do our job. I said, no. And the lady, their boss, she had to come to talk to us. He said, hey, you guys need to cool down. You know, let me explain to you guys. You know, this young lady, she needed a visa to enter Burkina Faso. The same thing as in Burkina Faso, we need a visa to enter Cameroon. Cameroon, they are not part of West Africa. And uh, we said, how much the visa? 
the visa costs almost eighty dollars. Wow. Eighty dollars. And I have to tell everybody in the boss, you know, we contribute money for her. We pay the visa for her. And the lady she said, you know the money she's going to the federal government pocket. Immediately she put everything in the computer, she got a receipt. And she go. And uh, I feel I feel shame. And I want to say um, thank you so much for talking to us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, wish you all the best. I wish you the best. Too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, man. No problem, Maya. Yeah.